and very thick and very, very inflamed. Look, look how this razor sharp this is. Um, and if you can again see how this is basically uh, lifting off and again all done in the end block fashion. The capsule will be going to pathology for a complete detailed analysis. There's nothing abnormal that I find, but as you will see, look here, look at the saline implant. And let's see the way it was potentially, uh, now I could have potentially done this as I entered, but as you can see, it will not take much for this one of these scales to kind of cut in and all of a sudden cause that rupture because it is hard. You can see it is hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this open. Uh, and you will see right here a lot of inflammation. Some areas are relatively thin, but I removed all of this implant tissue. And uh, see, as I make a cut right here. You can come in and have a look. I'm going to go ahead and cut. Looks like the implant right here. Now I'm going to do it very carefully. It wants to just jump out. It's so suffocated. So this one is relatively thinner on this side. Not as many scales as you can see, look right here, the scale. Uh, it's very razor sharp. So as I cut this, this implant is intact, and that one was intact. Uh, and you can see, look, the same thing, it's like a shell. Look at the inside. Uh, it can actually hold a lot of uh, saline or any fluid and everything contained. Are you going to hear the crunchiness? Look at all of this. All of this badness was contained. None of this. Look, you can see the white powder. Look at this white powder. None of this basically uh, spilled into the chest. All, everything was done in an end block contained fashion. And there you have it. This is your implant uh, from so many years later. I cannot even read what the make of it is. And just by touching the wall, you can see this is a very uh, poor quality, i.e. of this uh, silicone. So overall, very happy with how the surgery went. And another end block, the gold standard, no other better way. I cannot imagine 20 years from now anyone else doing the surgery any differently. And there you have it, end block, the gold standard. No need for brains. 68-year-old female, she gets the same surgery. Then the 25-year-old, the 22-year-old, the 45-year-old guest, she did not have any compromise. She's actually going to go back on her plavix tonight. Um, she uh, was cleared by her cardiologist and as a result was done at the hospital and the surgery can absolutely be done safe. This is the manner it needs to be done in. No lift, no drains, twilight anesthesia, the best anesthesia the patient can get. Her capsule sent to pathology, cultures for aerobic and aerobic and fungal. And uh, implants always return to the patient, even this ruptured one, just so that the patient knows what was inside, and she'll get the video as well, uh, which you all are looking at. This is Dr. Khan, Executive Plastic Surgery. Thank you. The skills of a fish wearing hard.